Two teams 175 miles apart, their grounds couldn't be more different. This is the second oldest sports venue in the Football League. Rodney Parade was built back in 1887, but Newport County don't even own it. They're just tenants here. Now, when it's totally packed out, 8,700 people fill these seats, but it's not just football they're watching. Two rugby teams play here too. Man City, meanwhile, have a huge 55,000-seater stadium with restaurants, corporate boxes and facilities, as well as their world-leading training campus nearby. Now, this is County's not-so-glamorous changing rooms. This is where the players will get ready before the match on Saturday. But if you follow me through here, you can see the away team dressing room. Even more basic than the home team, not what those players at Man City are used to, I bet. Uh, once the teams are ready, they'll get together side by side, walk down this corridor, and then they're out through the tunnel and onto the pitch. And when it comes to buying power, it's, shall we say, not quite a level playing field. Manchester City paid £60 million for Riyad Mahrez. Meanwhile, Newport's record signing is keeper Joe Day at a fraction of the price, rumoured to be around £45,000. And in fact, when you add in the rest of Newport's team, only three of the players were actually bought, bringing the total cost of the current squad to around £100,000. Compare that to City, whose total team cost £700 million. Two teams 175 miles apart, their grounds couldn't be more different. But this Saturday, for the first time in 57 years, the FA Cup brings them together.